Welcome on into another video. Thank you so much for clicking on and I'm back with another plan with me session. So this is a new series that I introduced. I'm just doing it a little bit differently this month in that I'm doing this pre-recorded versus where I've done the last few as a live session. And the reason that I'm telling you this is actually quite relevant to what I'm going to talk about in today's goal setting and planning session because that reflection and review work is an essential part of it and what I've come to notice is that because I was running the live sessions at like the middle of the day not everybody could make them on live so it meant that not as many people were getting to see during the live session so I thought that we would test out something different so I'm going to pre-record it and set it to go out at an evening time which is going to be more relevant for you guys to be able to watch and to do this session and actually use it for your planning and of course you can come and press pause and come back and write down the notes and do the ses the work that I'm going to be talking about throughout this goal setting session because of course we're at the time of the year where it is also end of quarter one as we get to the end of March we head into quarter two of the year so it's really good to come back and to look at what we set out for the year. If you are new here, then a big massive welcome to you. Thank you so much for checking this out. My name is Emma. We talk about all things health, lifestyle, and going after your best life. A big part of that is setting goals, and I love to use a planner to help you to go after your best life because it's a system that has worked so massively for me. We're going to be using the system that I lay out in the Get It Together Life Planner. You can, of course, get a free downloadable version of this planner if you haven't already. And these are the steps that I'm going to be taking you through and some of the questions that I'm going to be asking and getting you to reflect on. If you don't have that available to you right now, a good old pen and paper will do the trick. But definitely go and download the free version so you can get access to this. You can put it in a nice, pretty ring binder and start to use it as your go-to life planner that I promise, I promise you when you stick with it, it has the power to change your life because it has not just done so for me, but so many of my clients and my planner community of the people that I work with. So let's get into this. The first part that we, I always get people to do is to check in with where you are at right now. Because if we want to get to a destination, i.e. we want to get to a goal, we have to be able to understand where we're at right now. So think about it as if you were driving in your car, you had got yourself lost, you're trying to get to a friend's house and you phone them up and say, hey mate, I'm a little bit lost, I need to get to your house, how do I get there? What is the first thing that your friend's going to ask you? She's going to say, well, where are you? You cannot give someone direction or guidance or make any progress forward if you don't know where you are at right now. So that is the very first part to reflect and ask yourself where you are at. To help you assess that, here are the questions that you get to ask. You get to ask yourself, what's going well right now? Like what is working for you? Allow yourself to identify that because when you have clarity over the things that are working, you can begin to double down and improve and tweak and help to get even more progress on those elements that are working for you right now. And then when you look at what's working so well, ask yourself why. Why is it working well? Because this is not only helping you to reinforce that positive habit, that behaviour, it also helps to build into the confidence that comes with that to remind yourself that what you are doing is working, that you can achieve things and build into that level of self-belief that you have in yourself because you know where you are going, what you are doing and being able to see the progress that you are making. Then, of course, we have to look at the opposite of that, of like what's not working so well right now? What are you feeling stuck with? What are you keep on feeling like you are hitting a wall with? Because there are going to be times if you want to be a goal getter, guess what? There are going to be moments when you feel like you're getting stuck. And this is going to be the difference between you achieving your goal and being that person who just is like, ah, yeah, this is too hard. I think I'm just going to give up on this. The obstacles are not there to stop you. They are there to help you learn, to grow, to help you shift, evolve, to not just come up against it and get blocked, but to look at a way of where you can get over it, where you can go around it, 
How can you shift so we fail, we adjust, we fail, we adjust. That is how you grow. And when we get that shift in our mindset of like, okay, this is not just an opportunity or a reason for me to stop. This is a reason for me to find something new, to grow, to evolve, to do something different. We allow ourselves to make those adjustments when we get clear on what it is that we're feeling blocked or stuck with. And especially when we come into elements like sabotaging behaviours, this is a huge topic that I talk about with my members because we all have them and they are there we get to acknowledge them instead of beating ourselves up about that behavior just being able to say okay I see you for what you are and I thank you for being there because I'm going to use you now to help me propel forward and to move through this and get to that next level and to get to that next level, a great question to ask yourself is like when the sabotage or that block or that resistance or that obstacle comes up and you feel yourself getting stuck with it, powerful question is to ask yourself, if I was being my best self right now, how would my best self deal with this? And this is where you get to self-coach yourself, to get to know yourself, to understand yourself. If I was acting and showing up as my very best self right now, how would I deal with this? And you can see that question in itself is massively, massively powerful. Not only do you get to come and bring that into your awareness, but that's going to help you to identify what are the shifts and changes that you get to make now going forwards. You also get to ask yourself, what is this obstacle been teaching me? What is that challenge here to highlight for me to learn what is the lesson that I get to take home because that's all life is. It's a series of lessons. Everything has been put here to guide you. It's either it's guiding you to make a choice one way or another. And there might be times when you keep on making the same choice and you're not making the progress. That happens when you don't take back and reflect and learn the lessons. When you learn the lessons, you get to take away that judgment of like saying that I'm a failure and oh, I'm crap at this or oh, this is not meant for me. No, this is what I get to learn. And here is now I'm how I'm going to act differently. Check in with yourself. What are your current results? As we get in towards the end of quarter one, what have you achieved so far? This is a great time to go back and look at the goals and intentions that you set yourself at the start of the year. How are you doing in relation to those? Are you behind on some? Again, take away the judgment. This does not mean you are a failure. This means that there are some things that you get to take the lessons from to bring into your conscious awareness so that you can do something about it if that goal is still important to you which is a very relevant one that we're going to go into on the next section because there might be changes that have happened in your life and that goal is no longer relevant and you get to acknowledge that and be okay with that and let it go if that is necessary and choose to set yourself along a new path going forward because I see so many people set themselves goals in January and you think yeah I can just set them and then forget them no, goal setting or more specifically goal getting is a continual process. I work with my coaching clients. This is what I do within the planner. This is what I do for myself. It's every week come in, reflect, review, reset. Every month, reflect, review, reset. That's how you can get that continual progression forward. And it's not always just about the outcome goal. Having that feeling of making progress, of growth, of self-development, of self-improvement is what allows life to feel fun. It allows it to feel fulfilling. So I've been working on this. I kind of suppose it's not a system per se, but just a little bit of an anagram to help you when you are identifying and resetting your goals is that when we're doing goal setting, you need to have a plan. And when I say plan, plan stands for something. The P in plan is about your processes. So the habits, the behaviours, the small steps that will help you build up and get your goal rather than it just being this nice thing that we keep on dreaming about. The L in plan when it comes to setting your goals is about love. And this one might be like a little bit airy fairy, but love that guiding light. If we are setting goals that are for anyone else that are in a space of comparison, or that are coming from a space of not enough, very, very different anchor to when we set goals from a place of love. Your goals need to come from a place of love, from a place of love for yourself, a place of love for light. And think about that when you are writing things down. If you were to be living into your absolute best life from a place of love, 
of appreciation, love for those around you, and I'm talking about immediate people, those who are dependent on you, what would be on those goals list? Because sometimes we can set goals that aren't really, that have that deeper connection with us, and those are the ones that never stick. When you pick your goals, choose carefully. You want to choose goals that improve your life and not make it miserable. This is not what goal setting is about. Goal setting should be that guiding light and that kind of North Star that helps to guide you. And they're dream based and they feel they feel light, they feel energetic and they feel exciting to work towards. And that's what I mean when you set goals that come from a place of love. The A in plan is mother freaking action. If you do not identify what your specific action steps are, if you do not lay them out, it's going to be really hard to achieve them. And not only that, when procrastination, when overwhelm comes in, having an action plan, having your action steps is going to be essential in you becoming a badass goal getter. And the N in plan stands for non-negotiables. And when I say non-negotiables, a word that I always struggle to say, this is about you having to redefine your identity of what it means for you to achieve that goal. And when I say that, this is about taking yourself away from the outcome. This is about shifting this your identity of who you are, who is the person that you get to become in order to achieve that goal. This is not about when I have that goal, then I'll become that person. No, you get to shift your identity right now because to have that goal, you get to become the person that you need to be right now in this very moment. And when you can get that shift, some things hugely, hugely change. A great example of this is when people say, oh, I'm gonna start going to the gym when I've lost a bit of weight first. Like you don't lose weight first before you start going to the gym. Guess what? You go to the gym to lose the weight. Oh, I'll be happy when the kids leave home and I've got more time. Oh, I can achieve that when I have more space, when I'm not working so hard. No, 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 Those things never happen because guess what? Life never gets easier. You're never going to have more time. You're never going to get more space. You are never going to get fit and leaner. You get to identify with being that person right now. This becomes your non-negotiable. Who is the person that you get to be in order to achieve the goal? And then start showing up as her right now. And that is what's going to help you to achieve the badass goals that you know that you dream about, that you are worthy of having, that you are meant for. Because if you can dream these dreams, they're meant for you. You've got these dreams within you for a reason. You get to decide now. You get to put your processes in place. You get to set goals that come from a place of love. You get to set your action steps. You get to decide what your non-negotiables are. So set those goals for this quarter and for the remainder of the year if you want help with doing that, of course, go and download the planner. And if you want to take it that step further, I would love, love, love to become your coach. Come and join us within the Shine Squad membership. This is my exclusive membership where I guide and walk you through this exact process, but I'll also help you to hold you accountable. You're going to get surrounded by an amazing group of badass women who are all going after their goals because when women start supporting women, amazing things happen. If you are really serious about leveling up your life, leveling up your ability to go after and get your goals, but and do it in a way that feels fun, feels fulfilling and helps you to feel in love with your life, then the Shine Squad could be the place for you. So if you want to learn more about that, I'm going to leave it, the link down in the description. But most of all, I'd love to know what goals that you are setting that are coming from a place of love that you are super excited about for your quarter two. And also, how did you do in quarter one? Are you like smashing it? Are we doing on the right track? I want to hear about all of the things. So let me know down in the comments. And I look forward to hearing all about your goal getting adventures soon. Hey.